it is officially halfway through the month. It is the 15th of the month, and so we are gonna do a halftime report checkup. What is that all about exactly? <laughs> well, oftentimes, you know, we get started in the beginning of the month, and we get rolling. And we, of course, always have the best of intentions. Um, and then, a little bit through the month, we start to lose focus or we're going strong and everything's going awesome. So whatever the case may be, it's time to do a checkup from the neck up and see how we are doing in business. So if you are just jumping on, love to give you a shout out. Go ahead and put where it is that you are coming in from. So this may not only be a training for you, but perhaps also for some people that you know. So if you have people in your organization and you know that they ought to be on listening to this, this is your opportunity to share and get the word out. Thank you. All right, guys, so let's talk this through. Here we are, and it's halfway through the month. And so it is important that we always evaluate what is going on in our business. Are we, like, you know, busting through walls, having all kinds of great things happen, and we are just like, yes, rocking it out? Or do we need to kind of like refocus and, and, and check in and dial down and say, hey, you know, what do I really want for this month and how am I doing in the process? And so self-evaluation is always the biggest thing when it comes to, you know, this time of the month. Now, here's the good news. Halfway does not mean halfway. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, so we're halfway through the month, but that does not necessarily mean that you have to be halfway to your your goal, your target, your destination. Because in this business, the month is not necessarily linear. Like, you know, it's not like you get to the 15th and you're like, oh, I'm halfway there, everything's great. If you're halfway to your goal on the 15th, then you probably need a higher goal. Like you can be going for something greater. Typically what we find is that if somebody is like 20, 30% of the way in the middle of the month, then they can get the remaining 70%, as crazy as that sounds, they can get the remaining 70% in the last half of the month. And typically, a good percentage of that, maybe even 25, 30%, will come in the last couple of days or in the last week. So think about where you're at right now. Think about what's going on in your business. Are you happy with it? Are you excited about it? Or do we really want to, you know, punch it and, and get things, get our groove on this month? And so, you know, one of the things that's so, so very important is daily IPA. Now, what is IPA? That's income producing activity. Each and every day, if you have a goal that you're pushing for this month, you got to be doing your IPA each and every day. You got to be looking at, hey, is my goal right now to get some more personal recruits? Is my goal right now, I have some marquee players on my team and I'm helping them hit their bonus check or get car qualified or rank on up. You know, if your company has a trip or, you know, some big bonuses that are up for grabs or maybe that you can get car qualified, it's important that, that those need to be like first, you know, the, the top of the list on the radar. So, you know, that is so very crucial is, you know, just doing that income producing activity each and every day because that's going to be the thing that pushes the needle. Now, what is that exactly? Well, obviously it's contacting and prospecting, but in addition to that, it's getting out there and showing the plan. See, you know, there's parts of our business that we can control and then there's parts that we can't control. We can't control how many people sign up, but we can control how much we're getting out there and showing people what it is that we have. So just kind of make a note to yourself, like, hey, where am I at with my goals? How much income producing activity am I doing right now? Am I doing it daily or is it like a couple times a week? Because if we really have a big goal that we're pushing for, a couple times a week just isn't going to get it done. It's not going to cut it. And so just knowing that, it's all about having the right mindset and the right frame of mind. If we know, hey, our goal is like way up here, then this is the time to lock and load. This is the time to double down and to really, you know, put many, many times over the effort. Because if you put massive effort in, it doesn't matter how perfect your activity is. You know, massive action is more important than perfect action. You don't have to be perfect. Trust me, we mess it up all the time. And you know what? You can go to the top of your compensation plan and still not know all the answers to your questions. Thank so you. guys, that is what I wanted to share with you guys um, as I'm headed off to this event where we're doing our part and getting the job done. But um, think about it for yourself. Take some time, reflect, see what's going on, see what you need to do to really ratchet things up. And if, you know, bringing some new recruits in for you is like at the top of your list, 
then I have something that will help you do that. There is, you know, we're all on social media. We're all busy. We all got stuff going on. And, you know, just learning how to put your life, build your business in a way so it starts to work without you working it. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? Like, you know, in, in this day and age, you know, for us to get paid most of the time, you go to work, you get paid. You go to work, you get paid. You don't go to work, you don't get paid. We all know that. But here's how it works in our business. You go to work, you get paid. You go to work, you get paid. You don't go to work and you still get paid. So how do you do that? Well, obviously it comes from having duplication in your team. How do you get a team? We need to personally recruit. So if you'd like to start using social media to attract some prospects to you, to actually have people that are reaching out to you, that are contacting you, that want to get in touch with you so that you can share more about what it is you got going on, then I suggest you learn that skill. You know, this is something no different than driving a car or riding a bike or anything else that we do. It's a skill set. And once you learn the skill set, dude, it goes to work for you like crazy. Like it is the best thing because you can be out doing what you really enjoy doing. Here it is. And you know, it's Easter weekend. It's a special time to be with family. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be great if your business was blowing up and you're like, you know, hanging out with your kids and, you know, doing the big tam and doing all of that kind of stuff. And you have people like messaging you to want to join what you're doing, want to hear more information. I mean, that's just a powerful thing. So if you would like to learn how to do that, then you can click on the link that's listed here. It's a special resource. How do you, how do you get it? Basically click on the link. You're going to put in your email and that's going to be sent to you. And it's going to give you access to learn how to start putting these principles to work for you and for your business. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. It was so great spending some time with you all. That's it for today, my friends. Take care, be blessed, and I will see you all next time. For more great training and to receive your free MP3 download on how to attract prospects using social media, the four essential elements to attracting prospects, visit summergeronimo.com.